I am going to make a basket using some cardboard from a cereal box, yarn, ribbon, and some scrap fabric. I start by making a rectangle on the middle of my cardboard, and then I'll draw lines out to extend it. You can use a ruler if you would like more precise lines. Cut it out, fold on the lines drawn, then cut notches along the sides all the way around. Try to make them as even as possible. Once that's done, I'm going to take my yarn and start at a corner, and then begin weaving in and out of all of the notches. Try to keep your yarn tight, and as you start the next row, make sure that you're going on the opposite sides. I am also making sure that I push my yarn down as I go row to row, and try to keep it tight so that you see no spaces in between the lines. When it's as high as you like it, trim off the excess, Cut a thin piece of cardboard, apply glue to one end, then your yarn, and then begin wrapping the yarn around the cardboard. Secure the end with glue and trim off the excess. Then glue into place. Use a scrap piece of fabric to cover up those unfinished edges. Finish off the raw edges with a cute little bow. Make a whole weight sandwich using Copper Canyon felt, red and pink foam, and yellow and green construction paper. Use three large pony beads, one round bead, and a seed bead to make a water bottle for small dolls. And for larger dolls, I'm using a travel size lotion bottle that has been washed out, and I glued a different cap on the top. Put it all together, and you're done. Happy crafting! You can easily turn your basket into a bassinet by changing the handle. Just cut a piece of cardboard that is shaped like the peel of an orange slice. Wrap it with some yarn, decorate it with some ribbon, and glue it to the top of your basket. Use a folded piece of felt in the bottom as a mattress, add a baby blanket, and two ribbons on the side for handles, and you're done. Happy crafting!